FBL have announced a new mystery chip. Well, they've announced that they will announce a mystery chip in January. Nice one. It's such a mystery, they don't even know what it is yet. That sounds pretty mysterious to me. I've heard suggestions such as bringing back the all-out attack chip, stealing the Limitless from UEFA Fantasy games, but with it not releasing until January, I do feel like it's something that's related to the second half or the end of the season. My guess would actually be a chip chip. You use it and it gives you any of the other chips of your choice. A new free hit, a new trouble captain, a new bench boost, whatever one you like. So people who use them straight away are like bench boosting in game week one and reaching third in the world. Wow, imagine doing that. That's pretty good, right? They could still have some fun with the chips at the end of the season and keep engagement higher, which seems to be what they are going for this year. Let me know in the comments what you think it is and all of the favorite ideas. I'll favorite them, I'll like them, I'll smash them because... I like the other. Honestly though, I think the best part about this announcement is actually how sexy the chip graphics look. Because look at them. Boy, it's going to take me some stop into smashing every single one of these every week. Because look how sexy they are. I'll be like, oh yes. The next change gets a big high five from me. <laughs> as you can now roll up to five free transfers. And when you play the wild card or free hit... Your roll transfers are saved and you don't go back down to zero. So imagine smashing that wildcard and like button. And then the very next week, you could still have five free transfers to fix all of your mistakes. That sounds amazing. That's actually better transfer business than Prime Brighton. I do think this change is catered more towards the casuals, the people who don't spend every single second of their living day thinking about a fantasy game. Get a life. What else are you doing? As it does mean you could completely forget about your team for like a month. You could come back and essentially have a mini wildcard, five free transfers to get almost a brand new fresh team. Like I like to think back to when I was a proper cheeky scrub, a proper casual yeah, I wouldn't touch my team for a month or two. I'd come back and then I'd be like, ah, well, my team's absolutely screwed. I only have one or two free transfers. I might as well just delete the game now. Now this could all change. I do think there may be a chance that these could benefit the nerds like you and I who planned so far ahead that you've literally, you know, you know what you're doing in FPL before life. But personally, I really can't see myself rolling up to five transfers like what i was taking minus 60 point hits last season no chance i'm rolling that much but i can imagine a time where i might roll that one extra that two extra and you know could be pretty damn useful i do think though that the biggest thing that this change is the chip strategy and mainly around the bench boost because now you can fully optimize your team before or after the bench boost for the bench boost but not be stuck with the players you want the bench boost with because usually that's the big unlucky with the bench boost you get all the points and then you've got a crappy team for the next few weeks you could save up five transfers get in a great bench boost and then transfer them all out and be done with it get all of the points from the bench boost and that's that. So either way, the five free transfers, it could benefit us nerds. It will benefit the casuals. Overall, that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Now for the biggest change of the lot. Oh, you're not ready for this one, lads. The pitch design. Oh, yes. Well done, lads. You really went over the top with this one. That We've all been asking for this right now. To be fair, though, I think it looks better. It's more usable. It's more user-friendly. We all good for that. Something we did actually ask for, though, was this. A massive change to the point scoring, which is really going to shake things up every, like, four years or so. Because a goalkeeper now gets ten points instead of six for a goal. You know, the goals that goalkeepers always score, right? Um, Edison on penalty soon. Who says no? Realistically, though, we could all be playing FBL for another hundred years and we not own a single goalkeeper who scores. So... I mean, it's not a bad change, but it's just never going to happen. When it does, we will be creaming. Bonus point, though. The bonus. The bonus has slightly changed. As the bonus point system, the thing that rewards the three, the two, and the one bonus points, now looks like it will reward attackers and attacking actions and punish defenders a little bit more. So it's all the more reason to go for formations like 3-5-2, 3-4-3, get all the attackers, because to be fair, owning all the defenders and backing just clean sheets, boring. If a defender scores but then concedes three, they're probably not getting bonus now because of this. And rewarding shots on target and fouls one does benefit the players, the attacking players for the big boy teams, and is going to make those expensive players even more. Haaland could get all three bonus points with just one goal, because he's got like five shots on target. Hey, maybe 15 million is worth it. And finally, FBL Challenge is coming back. Yes! Said no one ever. To be fair, though, I did enjoy it. And I hope that they will be 
taken some constructive feedback with some of the game weeks that they were actually choosing because some of them were a bit like, mm, don't know about that one, Chief. But then some of them were very sexy and it was just a fun extra thing to play on the side. And I think from the very start of the season, it'll feel a bit better than it than randomly halfway through the season like it was but we will hear all about that next week overall though lads i am actually gonna give these changes a big smash i'm not passing i'm smashing with consent as they are subtle enough that it won't really feel like a new game we're not really gonna play it differently but some slight tweaks some slight optimization is just pretty welcome and is just gonna make our lives slightly easier and just have a little bit more fun in this game. As to be fair, the game's rules has seen less action than Ramsdale in goals. No changes for the last few years at all, so any change is welcome. Let me know what you think of all the changes though. Is there anything else you'd like to see? And what is the mystery chip gonna be? Thanks for watching, but also remember... <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub! Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now! <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs>